All right, we're back with Scott. We got Buffalo Lager. Another beer sent to us by the Albino Rhino. This is from the Flying Bison Brewery from uh, New York, Buffalo, New York. No alcohol on the bottle. Uh -huh. No alcohol in this. <laughs> so we'll have to look that up, I guess. And beer advocate. Huh? <laughs> Who? Uh, it says Buffalo Lager. Buffalo Lager is a light bodied, refreshing all malt beer inspired by the finest German lagers. Fresh, crisp Pilsner malt and German Tettnang hops give Buffalo Lager an easy drinking flavor and smooth finish. Brew Buffalo Lager to share with our friends. Hope you'll enjoy a cold, fresh Buffalo Lager with yours. Flying Bison, changing the world one beer at a time. And this is the first bo this first bottle I've ever seen that has Facebook and Twitter icons on it. Yeah, I'm going Twitter and say how awesome it is. Bottled on blank. Yeah, it doesn't have a bottled on date. And it's, it's on they had square for it, but they never stamped it. Maybe it's somewhere else. Or wiped off really easy one or another. I don't know, what's this? There's some big number there, but I don't know. Uh, that a twist on there? Yeah, okay. A little Samuel Adams kind of looking bottles. Like, there's anything on the cap. Oh, well, cheap, bastards. Cheap skates. I don't care, I don't have a cap I hope, collection. I hope they spent the money on the beer, not the caps. I think so. Doesn't have anything on there, does it? Should say 12 ounces or something stupid. Huh? Mm. Oh well, whatever. This is the official beer of Buffalo Airways. Is it? I don't know. Kind of cool if it was. <laughs> All right. Good so we got here a little bit of a head. Kind of a good looking head, I'll stay. Okay. Kind of a uh, darker than usual golden color, golden straw yeah, color. It's like that cream or traditional. Uh, mm, yeah, it's sort of deck. around those, around Dark. somewhere around there. More than normal. Kind of looks like apple juice or something. It's got stuff in it or something. Like it's foggy. Or it does look a bit hazy. Yeah, I think it's probably unfiltered yeah. or not as well filtered. The, I, it can't be chill haze because it's not that cold. So. It's like murky though. All right, so we'll go to the smell. Hmm, yeah, it smells neat. It's malty and yeah, big malty smell. How's the other smell there? Uh, caramelly or toffee? Yeah, it's a big car. It's a, it's way more toffee than caramel on this one. Yeah. A little bit of German hops in the end, earthy kind of German hops. Herbally, earthy something. Like yeah, it's the Tetanang hops. It's the same one Samuel Adams uses in most of their beers. Oh, I see. It smells good. Yeah, though. it smells pretty good. No big complex smell. It's just really nice, kind of malt, malty, earthy combo there. More simple, so we're good. <laughs> oh, yeah, taste it, I guess. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Very smooth, and then it yeah, nice and malty. And then it turns into a dry, kind of bready sort of. Yeah, dry and bready. But the sweetness goes right, keeps going right through the whole. Yeah. It's more of that um, toffeeish taste right up front. Does this dry bready finish? A uh, little bit of hops coming out, not a lot. Oh, it is starting to build up a bit on my tongue. It's that dry breadiness at the end, though, I guess. Mm. That's really good. Kind of a almost medium mouth feel to it. Not that smooth, though. Mm. Yeah, those hops are starting to come out now around the sides of my tongue. Mm. Very similar to um, Samuel Adams. Say this even better than that. Though. Well, more toffeeish than um, yeah. the Boston Lager. So I wonder if they. Well, 
those those hops are really coming out now. Mm. I, I wonder if they classify this as a Vienna lager or not. I'm gonna go check it out. I might check rape beer. I don't know, I've never had that down there. <laughs> that place. You know, uh, that's pretty damn good actually. That's that that hops keeps building up there. That's actually quite nice. Very earthy, uh, hmm. almost herbally kind of hops. Yeah. Light body. This seems like sort of like more like medium. Yeah, it's body. closer. Feels feels higher anyway. Maybe it's carbonation coming up or something, but I don't see a lot of carbonation going. Established 2000. His buffalo. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna say 3.5 out of 5 for this one. His head's all misformed or something. Well, he's looking over this way, so his head's closer. His head's all fucked up. You're an idiot. It's the elephant man of the buffalo world. That's mean. It looks kind of disgruntled, though, doesn't it? Yeah, well, buffaloes generally do look disgruntled, don't they? Oh, you get, you get harvested it. Yeah, he looks, he looks weird because he's actually, he's actually tilted slightly to this this way so he's looking at you he's not he's not it's not a it's not abstract it's perspective yeah but you know, he's not he's not standing parallel or whatever sideways he's, he's got this crumpled mulch looking on too. yeah well he's like a legendary buffalo you go harvest his ass and the red did uh, <laughs> that's why he's mad yeah bastard no, uh, he's, he's the last buffalo in Newfoundland, that's what he is. Ah, there you go. So he's pissed off because there's no other buffalo around. Yeah, no other buffalo to fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm saying 3.5 out of 5 for this one. I like it. I'd agree with that, dude. Yeah, 3.5 out of 5. Alright, we both agree then. Uh, buffalo Lager from Flying Bison, sent to us by the Albino Rhino. Thank you very much. Why isn't it sold here? I like buy a case of that. I'd buy a 6 pack of it. I don't think I'd buy like a 12 pack. Oh, come on. Probably not a 12-pack. Yeah, maybe not. Because that, that hops that's building up there, that might be a bit too much if you went over six bottles. But that's a really good beer, brew. Uh, 3.5 out of 5 from both of us. So we'll see you later.